as I began my, the Mass, I said today, it is a World Mission Sunday. Being a Christian, you are a missionary. But how do we participate in church mission? How do you participate to be a missionary? The essence of the Mission Sunday today is that we have been called to be witness to Christ. Pope Francis called us to be missionaries and to be witnesses. And he, he just took from the command of Jesus. Jesus, before ascending to heaven, he commanded his apostles and tells them, you, you shall be witnesses. Therefore, the church is a missionary by her nature. And all of us, we must be the missionaries since we are Christians. Today, at the example of the missionary spirit, I would like to give you the example of St. Gaspar, whose feast was yesterday. So, in front of us, we put St. Gaspar as an example of the missionaries. And let us think that how can we, and how can we become also missionaries? St. Gaspar founded the Society of the Missionaries of the Precious Blood. And he had the dream of be, to be a missionary towards India. But his dream did not materialize. And then he, he had another dream to form the Society of the Precious Blood so that he can spread the devotion of the precious blood. He didn't remain with the dream. He decided to share his dream, his zeal with other people. And today, we have the missionaries of the precious blood. These missionaries of precious blood nowadays, they are, they are all over the world. All the continent of the, of the world, you will find the members of the precious blood. I'm the precious blood priest also. I'm coming from the continent of Africa, coming here to America. So his zeal and his dream was shared with others, and then he transformed his dream to be reality. He wanted to know more than 1,000 so that he can spread the devotion of the precious blood. Let us ask ourselves, what is your missionary zeal? And how do you implement to, the, to influence the world? In today's reading, we are invited us to ask ourselves, how do we come before the Lord? The readings today, they invite us to ask ourselves, how do we come? When we come to the Lord, how do we come? Are we becoming like the one who are already full of, of everything? How do we struggle to be acceptable by God? Most of the time we struggle to be, acceptable, to be accepted by God by observing the rules. We feel that, we think that if we observe the rules, if we follow the regulations, if we avoid the evils, and if we do good, then we are acceptable to God. Today, the readings, they, they tell us the other way around. It's not just the matter of the rules. It's not just the matter of the regulations. 
we can be acceptable to God only if the attitude of our hearts, whatever I do, whatever action I perform, what is my attitude towards that action? I have to have the positive attitude so that I can be acceptable to God. My ex acceptance, my ac to be acceptable to God, it does not depend on my good actions. Just through my, our, my own efforts, so that I can be acceptable to God. No, we are not acceptable to God because we perform good actions. Rather, because our attitude of my heart towards my action is positive. So let us ask today to God, we should not be judgmental. We should not trust ourselves that we are ho already holy. I have to avoid the outside show, the outside actions. I have to avoid to, uh, despising others. I should accept myself as a sinner, and I need the mess of God. So, let us ask God today to give us the grace so that we can be able to accept that we are sinners. Let us not be like a Pharisee. Let us be humble like a tax collector and say on ourselves, be merciful to me, I am sinner. Let not despise others. Let us not glorify ourselves. Let my prayers not be about me. Let my prayer not be about my ego. Rather, be about God. If I will humble myself and accept that I am a sinner, I will go home justified.